The 2012 U.S. Barista Championship and Brewers Cup was held in Santa Cruz this past March, and two San Franciscans made the top six in each competition. Kevin Boland of Ritual Coffee Roasters placed fourth in the Barista competition, and Ant Walash placed sixth in the Brewers Cup. I interviewed them about their experiences in their respective competitions and what competitive coffee means. Good to go. Okay. All right. You mean just hold it or uh, is this good? Okay. Uh, well, I'm a barista, but I'm also a coffee educator. So uh, every store has a coffee educator. So I'm responsible for some of the training, different educational events. Um, but uh, yeah, so I definitely make coffee. Uh, so I'm on the bar four days a week and then just doing some other miscellaneous events and planning for education. So. Um, well, I'm the director of education, so basically what I'm doing is structuring a whole education plan, whether it's training in-house, wholesale, getting together training manuals for you know wholesale clients to use with their own baristas. Uh, so it's a little bit of everything, but mostly it's educational based. What's the simplest way you can really explain this competition level style coffee? Well, it definitely starts with understanding that it's more than caffeine, you know, like that there's uh, just giving it the respect and and the interest to, to let it be more than what people usually expect coffee to be. And it can seem silly to some people, but it really is beautiful. It really is fascinating. There's so much to it. Um, and so just starting with a healthy dose of, you know, interest and humility, knowing that there's a lot to learn about it, you know, um, and, you know, cause you can't, you can't teach somebody who doesn't want to learn and you can't force that. And you, you wouldn't want to force anything on anybody. Brewer's Cup for me was just representing, um, how accessible and easy it really is. There shouldn't be that disconnect between baristas and, and the public, you know, it's, we're all, we all want that same thing. We all want that really beautiful, clean cup of coffee. Competition, in my opinion, uh, its greatest, you know, value is, you know, developing uh, that kind of passion, giving an opportunity for people to pursue that creatively uh, in a way that pushes them forwards. That's, that's done that for me. And when I first started working here a few months in, you know, competition season was starting to come around. And so they asked, I was, uh, I was I'm really interested. I'm really passionate about coffee. I'm an enthusiastic person. Um, and so they asked me to consider it. And I had thought about it before I'd moved here from Texas. But the competition in Texas or that region of the country is much less intense than it is out here so it was certainly intimidating and I was wasn't necessarily initially interested because I thought no way it was really uh, you know wanting to educate the public wanting to represent sight glass as coffee that is accessible I mean we do have a, a particular flavor profile we tend to go for brighter coffees with really light citrus notes in them which isn't for everybody but I think that if you, like with my recipe and how I brewed it with the, the AeroPress, I think that anybody could enjoy that cup of coffee, regardless, you know? What supported me? Um, well, first of all, like, I'm, I'm married, and which is, I guess, rare in this city period, especially for somebody my age, but like, my wife giving me the freedom to, to work really hard at this and spend a lot of long hours, you know, and, and support me in that was really good. We have an amazing team here, and, and I knew it was a, this whole thing was a team approach, a collaborative effort, you know, and that's a lot of fun. I would just say, yeah, just, just my love of, of the coffee. I just, I really love, I, I love coffee as a, as a product, you know, whether it's, you know, just learning as much about it as, as possible, or just you know teaching everyone else about it. Um, my wife is also in coffee. We, we met in coffee, so it's kind of like it's really nice being able to have somebody that you're that close with to bounce off ideas and just see like, all right, where are you at with this? You know, what's coming in um, for your company? What are you? What's on the horizon? Okay, this is what we have going. But you have to have that support because it's just like, man, it's so time consuming. You're just investing so much time, you know, just staying after work, dialing in recipes. So you have to have you have to have a great partnership, you know, somebody that's understanding. 
coffee is a beautiful, very complex thing. And it's, but for me, it's huge that it's a multicultural thing, you know, to really pursue and understand and appreciate where the coffee comes from, to really build like a sincere and genuine foundation for what you're doing. Because in competition, if you want to go out there and do it, the judges want to see sincerity and they want to see that you're doing something that you love and you're a part of something that you love. Pursue coffee for the love of it and learn for the love of it and you'll always be rewarded because there's always new things to learn and appreciate. Do you have any tips for aspiring baristas? Actually, tips in general, not just to go into competition, just getting into this. Just talk to people, you know, talk to people, drink a lot of coffee, go to the competition, even if you're not in the competition, just to see what's going down. Cause it's, it's crazy, it's like an extreme thing. But yeah, in regards to even just getting into the industry, I mean, Find somebody that loves what they do and they're going to want to share it. You know, do it because it'll make you and everybody else better and have a greater appreciation and well-rounded understanding of what you're a part of.